Thanks for staying with us. It's now time for Mission. And Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from UK Aid, Danida, and the EU. The Setra Kumeu district in the Ashanti region is improving the road network in order to enhance health delivery. Five months after Mission's visit to the district, some broken culverts have been fixed, while some new town roads have been earmarked for reconstruction. Bright and Ampho reports. Setre Kumewu's challenges are being confronted headlong by the Assembly. After Mission's visit in November 2018, a lot has changed. Um, there have been changes. When you came, we had initiated some of the projects. You also identified some new problems confronting the Assembly. And we took it in good faith and we started working on them. Um, so, by and large, um, your coming just add on, added on to the efforts of solving the problems confronting the assembly and then the new openings that you outdoored also gave us the, 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 the strength and then the total knowledge about the whole problems and how we'll be able to solve it. One key area seeing change is the road network. Some roads were not the best. A greater percentage of the road network is unengineered. Those that are good are beginning to see some deterioration. If you go to, let's say, Asetrewa, um, Setre to Banco, Setre to Akrofonso, Akrofonso to Asamai, uh, before we, it was, they, most of them were in no trouble at all. But now, the taxis and all of them, it add on to their incomes. You, you, you couldn't assess the place. Now you take the passengers there, you were able to cut goose from all those areas and people are also investing in there. So I believe that we just want to connect the whole district. Healthcare particularly is affected by poor roads. For instance, though the Urasu community has a health facility, refer us to Kumewu, the biggest health center in the district, was a headache because of a broken culvert. The district assembly quickly moved in to fix the broken bridge after mission visit in November 2018. The sprawling town of Uraso lies right behind me there. Residents are happy. In the past, they had difficulty accessing healthcare at the district capital, Kumewu, because of the broken culvert. Today, the situation is not the same. The culvert is being fixed and movement to and from the community is now much more comfortable. Commercial drivers are excited because playing the stretch is now more comfortable. We thank the assembly for fixing the road. We are asking the contractor to ensure the drainage system is well done so that the road is not flooded when it rains heavily. The assembly is not relenting on effort to open up the district. Such a Kumewu, the district capital's town roads are not the best. Only the main road is tired. The rest are all unengineered, and drivers struggle to use these town roads. In some cases, it is unmotorable. This will, however, soon see improvement. Let me also commend you. Before you came, we had the document um, in place. We had gone in for the QS, and when you came, uh, we had started the process. Um, by the grace of God, estimates were approved around November and then the evaluation report was ready this very February this year. The town roads has been given on contract and um, we are a date is going to be set aside and that is a collaboration between us and that of the that's government and that of the traditional council. 12 kilometers of town roads will be captured. We are talking about 5.2 five kilometers of, of the Kumau town roads and then also 3.0 kilometers of Bodomase, then um, 2.1 at Oyoko and then that of two kilometers at Raso. So but we are starting 
that of Bodomasi and then Kumau. That is where the contract has been signed and the contractor is coming to site. This is expected to impact greatly on the district's economy. The assembly says a lot more investors will be attracted to the district once the road network is improved. Bright Nanafo, TV3, Kumeu. Now, pupils of the Nkrafwa Basic School in the Cape Coast Metropolis struggle anytime it rains to access their food canteen. The school is located in a valley, resulting in flooding, which disrupts lessons. Bride Nanam for reports, the Education Directorate is facing difficulty solving the problem. <laughs> Daily, they come to school, but find themselves in a difficult situation. <laughs> Finding a suitable path to use during break periods is a headache. I'm moving from the junior high school block, uh, the new structure you can see, uh, to the school's canteen. And it's not an easy task trying to... Uh, maneuver to get to where you can get food to eat. For the pupils at the junior high school level, they can easily do this. But for those from the kindergarten and primary schools, it's really a Herculean task for them getting here every day, particularly when it rains, to get food to eat. In Cranfoir is in the Cape Coast metropolis. Education should receive the needed attention, but it is not the case. In Kranfoy's education facilities are not the best. The school is located in a valley in a sense that uh, when rain falls, uh, the water comes from behind the building, the school building, right. and it is a pathway for the water. And unfortunately, they are currently building another uh, classroom to cater for the high population of the schools. And because of that burden, it is also blocking the waterway. And so anytime the rain falls, as the rain comes from the top behind the building, the main building, uh, the, the, the new block is also blocking it. The Reverend Alec Jones Memorial Methodist Basic School receives a lot of support from both the Methodist Church and the Cape Coast Metro Assembly. The flooding situation affects teaching and learning. Attendance is poor, especially when it rains. I get worried even when I'm in the house because the next day when I come, I'll come, come and meet a floody place. And when that happens, some parents do not allow their walls to come to school, especially the nursery KG and then the lower classes. Because when they come, they sleep and they have to be sent back home to change their school uniforms. School authorities have spent all their energies on finding a solution, but this has not worked. The actual crater, if you train for in a can home, it did be a metro director do ma aqua summary. Also, we're to have a bob for ma, wabo, aboshe. And pen beam now worry or a drainage. We have written letters, taken photographs. Metro authorities have come to see the problem. Engineers suggest a drain is not possible. They have asked that we extend our drains into the main road as a solution. The Cape Coast Metro Education Directorate is working at finding a solution. What they need is underground uh, uh, gutter to carry the system away. Otherwise, any time the rain falls, there's no way. You can't even not pass to the classrooms, and it's very dangerous. With over 800 pupils, the Reverend Alec Jones Memorial Methodist Basic School needs help. Educational authorities in the metro say infrastructure needs to be upgraded if the metro is to retain its enviable position. On the lock of education in the region, the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly is currently 14 best out of 20. The peoples of Nkranfwa Basic School are eager to learn. ICT is giving a lot of attention and teachers hope the school will get the needed support to turn out pupils with very good grades at the basic education certificate examination. 
Bright Nanafo, TV3, and Cranfoa. And from Cape Coast, we end mission tonight. And mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from UKA, Danida, and the EU. Thanks for watching.